What's up, guys? All right, lesson 3-3 three -three here, number lines and equivalents. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and put this up here. Perfect. Amazing. All right. So when we talk about fractions and finding equivalent fractions, we can also use number lines. So in the last video, we talked about using fraction circles and fraction strips in order to find equivalent fractions. Well, in this case, we're going to use number lines in order to help us out. All right, so as you can see on my screen right here, I have a number line here from zero to one whole. All right, in this case, I have fractions at the bottom here that I have to label on these uh, number lines. All right, so what I need to do is I need to first figure out what I want to do with this one. So this one, we're going to make thirds, okay? So what I have to do is, in the last video, we talked about fraction circles making a whole, okay? And we talked about equivalent fractions to making a whole. So in this case, if I'm dealing with thirds, okay, I'm probably going to say for one whole over here that this is three out of three pieces, right? So if I had a cake, all right, and it was cut into three pieces, and I ate three of those pieces, I would have eaten the whole cake, which is probably not good for you. All right, so three out of three is a whole, and zero out of three means that you didn't have it at all. You didn't even touch it, all right? So this is zero out of three pieces, and this is three out of three pieces. Well, I have to think about this. If I have zero thirds over here, the next possible fraction that I could have is what? One third, right? One third. And then I got to go over a little bit and I got to break this into three equal pieces. All right. So these are somewhat equal pieces. This one's a little bit longer, but that's okay. All right. So with that being said, I need to break these into three equal pieces so that I can show on my number line what each fraction is. So now that I have that, I can place my fraction right here on this. I'm going to erase this part right here so we can have that. And there's where one third goes to. Okay. Now, if I had another square down here that had two thirds, I would put two thirds right here. Three thirds would go right over here. So what we're doing in this lesson is we are trying to figure out what the fraction is based on where it is on our number line. And these are all consecutive. Okay. Now, the next one we're going to deal with, let's do sixth. Okay, so we'll go third, we'll go sixth, and then we'll go twelfths. All right, so this one needs to break broken into six equal pieces. Well, we already know that one whole equals six out of six. Okay, so I'm going to break this into six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, and there's six. So I only need five lines on here, and then the last one is my sixth. So now that we have that, Okay, I have zero th uh, sixth over here. This is one sixth. Next we have, oh, two sixths down here. Three sixth. And I'm just going to write all of these out so that I know when I go back and do this that it's already going to be there. Five sixth. And then six sixth equals a whole. So now I have two sixths. I bring the two sixths right here. Okay, boom, boom. And I also need to bring the five sixths up there. So five sixths is going to go right there. Boom, boom. There you go. And Bob's your uncle. All right. So now I have not only taken my square fractions or my fractions that are in a square and pull them up to where they need to go on my number line, but I've also labeled my number line, which is going to help me in the long run to know the order of fractions. Finally, we have twelfths. So this is 12 out of a 12 because that equals a whole. And then I need to break this up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 
you can see that they're not even, but as long as I know that I have to just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, then I do that. So 1 twelfth, 2 twelfths, 3 twelfths, 4 twelfths, 5 twelfths. 6 twelfths, 7 twelfths, 8 twelfths, 9 twelfths, 10 twelfths, and 11 twelfths. All right. Next, I take my fraction, 6 twelfths, it goes right here. And we learned the other day that 6 twelfths is actually the same thing as half. All right, so it's half. Now, what I can do is I can actually use my number lines now to find out what fractions are equivalent based on what I was given with these boxes. So I can see that 1 third and 2 sixths, they're equivalent because they're straight up and down. I mean, this one's off to the side just a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so these are equivalent. This is equivalent to 3 sixths, which is also the same thing as saying half or 2 fourths. And finally, we have 5 sixths over here, which is equivalent to 10 twelfths over here. All right. So now I move on to my lesson work right here. And again, all I have to do with these is just label them. So this is in fourths because this is a four right here. So I know that one whole is the same thing as four fourths, and I'm going to write that over there. So I have one fourth. What's the next one? Two fourths, three fourths, and then we have four fourths. The next one, I don't know what it is, but I know what it's broken into. So watch what I do. I go zero. This is one. I'm not going to put a denominator yet. This is two. Not going to put a denominator yet. And this is three. All right. So this is out of how many pieces? I have one, to this whole should be three over three. So now I know what my denominator is. It's thirds. And finally, I know that this one is six because this says six right here, but I just want to double check. One, two, three, four, five, and it is six out of six. It won't always tell you like that because this could be a comparable fraction uh, where they put it on the same number line. Just always double check and count each time when you get to a whole. So now I could put my sixth down here. And there you go. And that's how you label your fractions on a number line. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, just let me know, okay?